Okay, this is an episode where I'm just going to run around around the city and talk to all the different characters just to, you know, get all that stuff updated. It's like you haven't moved in three years. It's easier for people to find me this way. Do you remember the relic I told you about? The one I need to find? I've been following a lead. I'm so close I can taste it. Isn't that what you said last time? Oh, you mean when I went digging for that stash? Yes, that turned out to contain several badly written poems and an old boot. It could have contained the relic. I just thought I'd let you know that I may soon be taking you up on that offer of help. Do I get a kiss from the feisty temptress when I present her with the hard-won prize? If you want. I'll even let you choose where I plant it. <laughs> Why do you always win at cards? <laughs> because I cheat, Kitten. <laughs> this trinket, it's Elven, isn't it? From your clan. Don't bet anything you're not prepared to lose. Here, have it back. A jigger of your finest whiskey for my friend over here. The hanged man's finest isn't much, but it'll get you just as drunk as anything you'll find in Hightown. And you'll wake up and find someone stolen your trousers. <laughs> That's when you know it's a party. I thought I'd have to watch myself around you, but as it turns out, you're all right. That's mildly insulting, you know. You know what I mean. You don't judge people. You're not afraid to get your hands dirty. You know, little things like that. If I had someone like you on board my ship when the storm hit, maybe we wouldn't have been shipwrecked. Maybe you would have been shipwrecked sooner. I'm a terrible sailor. Are you? I suppose I'll have to keel haul you till you shape up. I have something for you. Ooh, what's this? Oh, isn't that just the cutest thing? You can't see it, but below deck there's a perfect replica of you, with a dozen sailors in attendance. You tease. <laughs> I'm sure there isn't. It is a worthy goal to work towards, however. Thank you, Hawk. This was a thoughtful gesture. No. Maybe. Yes? Face it. You don't pay me enough to stay sober at work. <laughs> yeah, I was kind of falling behind on all the little updates and stuff. So, um, that's why I had so many things to do with these characters. Just tell me if you hear more rumblings from the Coterie about protection. Blondie's got enough trouble. Let me ask you something, Hawk. You made it into Hightown. I'd expect anyone else to get complacent, but you... you must have plans. No plans yet. I'm simply trying to look out for my mother. After everything that happened with Bethany, that's probably good thinking. To be honest, I thought there might be a chance you'd want to go back to Ferelden now that things have calmed down. It's good to hear you're sticking around. What would I do without my trusty dwarf? I'd cry myself to sleep without you. Oh, don't get all teary-eyed on me, Hawk. You know I can't stand to see a human cry. So, we've got a whole city-state full of trouble to get into. Shall we get started? Hawk, I've got some news. You might not want to be near anything breakable when I tell you, though. Varric, whatever you have to tell me, it will be fine. I know, I know. I've had an ear out for Bartrand. After the deep roads, he ran to Ravain, probably because he knew I couldn't track him. 
But I hear he might be back in Kirkwall. He called in loans from a few of his contacts in Hightown. Was he staying in Hightown, or just passing through? If my information is good, and it's always good, he has a house there. Which gives us a good shot at having a word with my dear sweet brother. How are you holding up, Beric? <laughs> Me? My no-account backstabbing brother is practically in arm's reach. I couldn't be better. Would Bartrand really risk coming back here? I think we both know by now that Bartrand would risk anything for money. There's a much better market here for that trinket he stole. And all his contacts are in Kirkwall. I've really missed Bartrand. We've got a lot of catching up to do. I agree. Bianca's been missing him something awful. Let's stop by his new house. Welcome him back to the neighborhood and all that. This ale isn't as good as it used to be. It was never good. Okay, uh, I was gonna just make this an episode about running around and stuff. But, you know, I think I might go take care of that Bartrand thing now. Now, it's been three years since Bartrand disappeared. He grabbed that um, little idol that we found in the Deep Roads and ran off with this locked us... Shit. <laughs> locked us in that room there and, well... You know. the hell are these people? Invisible sisters, huh? Whatever, that's not our... <laughs> that's not what we're doing here. Bartrand apparently sold that idol or he got some amount of money or something like that. That's what I get for wandering around in Hightown at night. Bartrand really hasn't done much with this place, has he? I don't get it. My sources saw people making deliveries here just a week ago. This... Looks like it's been empty for months. You think he put the cobwebs up to discourage tax collectors? Well, you're thinking it's a trap. <laughs> Great. It's been ages since my brother tried to kill me. So that's how you greet your brother, is it, Bartrand? Fine. Say hello, Bianca. Damn. Got a lot of damage here. It's all alone right now and everything, just taking everyone out. Something up with this. It's a higher level of enemy than everything with long life bars and just taking them all out. Let's 
Yeah, there was nothing in there. What? More of them? Just funnel them all into a place like this. They're not doing any damage. Then take them all out at once. my brother. I was just jealous of you. How could I ever compete with you for mother's love? You're strong and handsome, and so very smart. What? Why lie now about this? What have you to gain? What do you want from me? I broke in, I found my brother, and it was awkward. Family business. No. I think there's more to it. <sighs> Fine. You want the gory details? I'll give you the gory details. Okay, he was just making that up, obviously. <laughs> well, look, we came in from the side, not the front door. This is gonna be a little bit more of a battle than what we had just seen, obviously. These corpses aren't even stiff yet, Hawk. Somebody's been in here today. What corpses? I don't see any corpses. Go for the well, there are some corpses, but I had to make them. My brother, do to these men. They were completely out of their heads. Seem no more insane than the average person we've killed. I mean, they did have the word crazed floating over their head, though. Wait a sec. We've been in this house before. But, uh, whatever. Something went wrong here, though. Traps. The disrepair of the place, the cobwebs, the insane guards, something definitely happened here. Bartrand, what have you done? Can't help these people, might as well raid everything in the room and then run away with the valuables. Now where the hell did Bartram go? Crap! Ancestors. Hold up. I know this man. He's Bartrand Stewart. Hugin, what happened here? Eric, 
Your brother. And that statue he brought out of the deep roads. Bartran said it sang to him, even after he sold it. I've been hiding in here, but the guards, they're like crazed animals. I didn't dare go past them. Everyone in this house has gone mad. What did he do to the guard to turn them to this? He's been forcing them to eat lyrium. Some of the servants, he cut pieces off them while they were still alive. He says he's trying to help them hear the song. Please stop him. Bartran's not exactly a nice guy, but this doesn't sound like my brother. You said he sold the statue. To who? I don't know. It's why we came back to Kirkwall. He was already starting to rant about the sodding idol and his singing. On his better days, he hated the thing, wanted to get rid of it. But the minute it was gone, he got worse. I haven't seen anyone alive in here except for guards. What happened to the rest of the staff? I don't know what Bartrand did to them. By the ancestors, the sounds coming from his study. They're dead by now. I hope. What do you mean you hope they're dead? Just whoever, whatever you find in that room. Varric, give them a merciful death. I'll find Bartrand and put an end to this. Thank you. Maybe there's no one left alive in there. But if there is, grant them a quick end. Bartrand took the servants and locked himself inside the study. No one's come out for days. And those sodding lunatics just keep prowling the halls. Then we go in after him. Come on, Hawk. Let's finish this. So, Bartrand lost his damn mind. And it seems to be tied to that statue that we found in the deep roads that he that he stole from us and then left us to die. He said it was singing to him. Now that description sounds familiar. It sounds like what an archdemon does with Darkspawn. And Oh, somebody leveled up. At least I thought someone leveled up. Whatever. Oh, hold on. What uh, did somebody get? Uh... Oh, he got the companion armor. So Varric's got some new armor. Just Bartrand now. Tough son of a bitch. Let them take care of him. you've done? Eric, you'll help me, won't you, little brother? Help me find it again. You're always a good one. Help you. Bartrand, 
You left me to die. You left all your men to die. And for what? Some trinket? Look at yourself. Look at what you've done to the men and women who served you. Where's your nobility, brother? Where's your dwarven honor? This doesn't feel natural. If he wasn't a dwarf, I'd think a demon did this. His mind has been... poisoned by something powerful. That's all I can do. It won't last, I'm sorry. Varric? I'm here. Varric? What have I done? I don't know. I honestly don't know. They can stop, little brother. Don't let me... Don't let House Tetris fall like this. I know. I don't deserve it. But please, Varric, don't leave me like this. Make it stop. Enough with the speeches. I'll get you to a healer, and you'll be fine. Seriously? Three years of... I'm going to skin him alive, and then... Poof. Best buddies? I can't do it, Hawk. I thought I could. I thought he'd be gloating. Lying on a bed of gold and commissioning painters to memorialize the instant he sealed us into the deep roads. But look at him. Whatever that idol was, it did worse to him than I ever could. You heard, Anders. He's possessed. As long as he lives, he's a threat to everyone around him. Goodbye, brother. Come on. I don't want to look at this place anymore. Just fell over twice. Red Earth, long one. What the hell's that? Oh, it's a long sword. Okay, something. There was something up with that statue. It was what drove him insane. And when he parted with it. Said he sang, like at times his, his servant said that he was insane, wanted to get rid of it. Then when he finally did, well, he wanted a, he wanted a back. That's probably why he came back to Kirkwalls, because he was trying to get the statue back. But, uh, whatever it was, it was trying to get him to bring, to reacquire it, so he could hear the singing again. He referred to it as singing. But even if he couldn't hear it, he was still hearing a voice in his head. Uh, whatever that statue was, it was dangerous, and we don't know who has it now. Something on your mind, Varric? I should... Thank you for your help with my brother. He was a jackass, and he tried to kill us, but... That was still the hardest thing I've ever done. I don't know. Maybe I could have found help for him. Bartram didn't leave you any choice. You had to kill him. I suppose it's a little late to worry now. I don't know if surface dwarves go back to the stone, or hang around singing hymns with Andraste, or what. I just hope wherever he is now, Bartrand stays out of trouble. Any idea what really went on with him and that statue? Well, the thing must be cursed. I don't know if it's magic or demons or the bile of the ancestors, but I think curse about covers it. If we're lucky, whoever he sold it to had the damn thing melted down for scrap. If you're worried about it, we could ask one of the priests to pray for him. I'm pretty sure any decent priest who prays for Bartrand would burst into flames. Anyway, thank you. I'll keep looking into who bought that blighted statue. At the very least, they need to be warned about what happened. <laughs> 